things like numbers, I think it depends on what you're doing with them. It, uh, it, it's theologically accurate to use numbers. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, being a person from Dallas Seminary, you got to know the book. That's what we do here. Okay. All right. Now, where in the book of Acts do they talk about numbers? <laughs> well, they do right away, don't they? Why did Luke? Why did Luke give numbers? See that there's a theology going on there of numbers in the book of Acts and in the imperfect tense. They kept on coming to faith. Imperfect tense. Continued action in past time. Uh, so I think we have to ask the question, why did Luke choose to do that? Was he playing spiritual king on the mountain? Well, that's what some pastors do. Oh, by the way, we, we have 850 in worship this morning. How many do you have, brother? I'm king. I'm, you know, we men do this kind of thing. We get on an airplane, and what do we do? What do you do? Okay, who's the top dog in these two seats? <laughs> well, I'm a brain surgeon. Oh, well, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm a garbage man. Uh, now, what can we do? See? Well, I'm a brain surgeon. By the way, the garbage men are making as much today as the brain surgeons are. So I sat next to an astronaut who'd walked on the moon a yeah. while back. That yeah. kind of trumped it for me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up from then on, right, Ken? Did you publish your uh, dissertation, the one on numbers? Uh, no, but I, I can. I mean, you know, I'll give it to you if you okay. want it. Yeah, you know? great to see it. So there's so my response on that is uh, we've got to be very careful.